The hole in this mountain is like a hole in my heart. Oh, how my chest aches. Getting all sentimental on us, old man? No, it's just memories of the war. I'd appreciate it if we didn't spend too much time here. Stop being such a coward. Oh, that hurts, Rita. The only way to get past a bad memory is to embrace it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Not really. I was just generalizing. Anyway, you want to hurry, right? Then let's go. Our little genius mage is more mature than she looks. So, you are aware that this place was the ground on which the Great War was fought? Yeah, we heard from the old man here. The Great War was sparked by a type of Blastia. What? This was not a Blastia that had been excavated. It had been constructed in the city of Temza, using a new type of technology, the Hermes Blastia. Hermes Blastia? I've never heard of it. And if you say it was newly built... The Hermes models were even more effective at converting air into energy. They were intended to... revolutionize the technology of Blastia. But something went wrong. The Blastia using these Hermes-type formulas required massive quantities of air. The air crim began producing abnormal amounts of air in order to compensate. That would mean the end. Not just of humanity, but all life on this planet! Just like we saw at Cave Mach and the Weasand of Kados. Wouldn't like to see that happen everywhere. The Entelakea realized the dangers of the Hermes Blastia before the humans, and they moved to destroy them. Which created a conflict that grew until it eventually became the Great War. So then the Entelakea fought against the humans to help the planet? But why didn't they tell the humans how dangerous those Blastia were? Neither side probably cared much if the other brought itself to ruin. There's never been any love lost between humans and Entelakea. Probably didn't talk much. There may have been other reasons, though. Still, we don't know what this story has to do with our Judith here. Temza fell to the flames of war, and the technology of the Hermes Blastia was believed lost. Wait! You mean there are still Hermes models in operation? Yes. At Rago's mansion, Emmet Hill, Gosforost, not to mention... The Ceres Blastia on the Fiertia. So then you've been destroying the Blastia in place of the Entelakea. You could have mentioned that. Why didn't you say something? Were you gonna save the world all on your own? Are you stupid? aren't you? How can you defend a monster? Didn't you get the news? I said nobody lays a hand on one of our own. We won't allow that. Not even from you, Nan. We were having a conversation over here. Butt out! I don't usually like to get my clothes dirty, but... Everyone, have the hunting blades added people to their list of targets? Nobody who associates with monsters can rightly call themselves a person. Carol, have you forgotten the credo of the Hunting Blades? Step aside. Monsters are evil, and the Hunting Blades pursue that evil. But the Entelakea aren't evil. They were fighting to save the world. Don't let them fool you with that credo nonsense. They're on a job. They're here for the Apatheia. Huh. It seems you won't listen to reason. If you have no intention of moving, you leave us no choice. Too young to be that stubborn. Shut up! We hunting blades will not back down! 
So I guess we just gotta fight this out. Don't blame me for what happens. fight anybody who lays a hand on my people. Hooray for the old man! Nan, I'm sorry. to evolve as an intelakea. It looks like he's suffering. Baul, come on. No! I want to heal your wounds, but there's nothing I can do. My power is poison to you, isn't it? Healing wounds isn't your power, Estelle. What do you mean? 
Don't you remember Bellius' words? Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. My compassion for others? Your thoughts are reaching Baul. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best. Mm. Well now. Amazing! I knew you could do it. Your partner seems like he's gonna be just fine. Yes. Thank you all for helping to protect him. This is something I couldn't have done alone. You're one of us! Of course we'd help! Didn't I tell you? You got through to him. <laughs> you make it through to Pharaoh as well. Will you be going to meet him? That's up to Estelle to decide. I'll go. It's been the purpose of my journey, after all. Are you sure? What if you end up getting killed? Even still, I've got to stand firm on this. It won't be too long before the hunting blades send reinforcements. How about a change in scenery before they show up and spoil the party? There's only one path down from here, though. We're bound to run into them. Get on. We'll fly as far as the Fiertia. We can finish talking once we arrive. She's sleeping. She must be exhausted. Yeah, I mean, she just killed over. Wasn't expecting that. I bet she watched over Baul the entire time he was evolving. She probably didn't get much sleep. She probably had no idea when the hunting blades would attack, either. She was putting up a brave front, but she must have been near the end of her rope. She's just dumb. She doesn't know how to express what she's feeling. We can finish talking with her tomorrow. We should let her sleep now. In fact, I wouldn't mind a little shut-eye myself. We still haven't heard Judy's side, so we can't say anything, but... She sure caused the guild a major headache, breaking Blastia's all on her own. There's no getting around that fact, no matter what her reasons. We have to settle this. Man, I hate waiting.